This is Twit. Did you see, uh, and this was crazy, somebody actually managed to do, is this a real-time video game playable of Quake 2 in ray tracing in RTS? Yes. Yes. <laughs> And I, I see these links because all the stuff is there. You don't even need the full version of the game. So if you don't have it or don't want to find it or purchase it very inexpensively these days, you can just use the demo. The original Quake 2 demo is fine. And there's actually uh, the link from the uh, developer's page for this project is for like a, a, a special version of it that's built on like the Quake 2 Pro. Like I think it's an OpenGL engine. But this is um, a merger basically of two different projects that took like that Quake 2 Pro foundation of like the, the game running on modern 3D hardware and adds Vulcan path tracing. So this, you know, really enabled by the fact that we have like legitimate like, you know, ray tracing hardware now to run at high frame rates. This is like a full playable game experience. And I've watched the video and I've looked at the pictures and it looks fantastic. And I'm kicking myself because I haven't installed it myself yet, but I want to. Yeah, I'm just kind of tripping out on the video. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Quake 2 is one of those games where, I mean, John Carmack did incredible things within the hardware limitations that he faced. And this is this is right. more than 20 years old. This game came out December of 2000, or 1997. So talking about a 21 year old game where he was doing like real time lighting and stuff right in the engine. And now, uh, you know, some of the scenes is kind of subtle, uh, like what we're, we're watching now, but they're like the explosions, that sort of thing. You can really see, uh, it's just so much more kind of immersive looking like light really does act, uh, the way that it's, it's supposed to. And even with these lower polygon count characters and things like the game shows its age a little bit, but it's still, it's still fun. And it looks better than ever. So hats off to the people who, you know, just as a side project without being paid a penny have made this happen. And this is like these projects began like the foundation of this is going all the way back to like 2006. 